Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how to free up your iCloud storage on your iPhone without having to delete your photos. Now, normally photos will take the majority of your space on your iCloud account, whether you're using the five gigs version or you're paying for extra space, you still probably have a ton of photos there which are taking most of the space. But if you just wanna keep your photos and also have free space, I will show you guys a few tips and tricks that will help you actually gain more free storage on your iCloud account and keep your photos. Even though I would suggest that if you use the free version and you wanna keep your photos, maybe the best way is to actually use Google Photos, which is basically the same, but you have way more storage. And of course you can use it the same on all of your devices. Anyway, let's get right into the video. So when you go to your settings at the top of your settings, of course, under your Apple ID, you will have your iCloud right here. Now what you can see here, is your storage right there at the top, then all the apps that are using your iCloud. Now, the first thing I would do here is show all the apps that are using your iCloud. If you see here apps that you don't wanna actually use your iCloud storage or you just don't need them to be synced to all of your devices, you can just go ahead and turn them off from the list right here. So here are all the apps. Again, just go ahead and turn off any app that you don't need. Next up, what you can do is head on to your manage storage section right here and here will have everything that is taking up space on your iCloud account. Of course, the ones that take most space are at the top. So here we have the photos, of course, and we have the backups, emails, and all that. Now, the first thing, not in my case, because I actually don't have a lot of conversations saved on the iMessage app, but the first thing can be messages. When you go here, you will see the top conversations and all the data that you have saved from those conversations. Now, of course, messages by themselves won't take any, any lot of space on your iPhone, but photos and videos that have been sent, all the attachments will, of course, take a ton of space. So you can go to your messages right here. You will see your messages and see how much space each of the conversation is taking on your iCloud account. You can just go here, it will take you right to that conversation. And from here, you tap on that icon and then you will have the links here. And of course, you will have all the photos and everything that has been saved. So if we go here, you can just go ahead and basically delete any photos or anything that you don't want to have on your iPhone. That way, of course, you will be able to free up a ton of space on your iPhone, just on your iCloud, actually. So you go like this, delete those from the conversation and you're good to go. Now basically the same thing will be for mail as well. Mail attachments will also take a ton of space on your iPhone. So there we have the mail, you can see in this case it's 38 megabytes and it doesn't allow you to go here and delete the attachments, but you can simply go to the mail app and from here you will be able to actually go to your attachments. Right here you will see all the emails that you have that have attachments. You can go ahead and delete those emails if you no longer need them. The next thing will be iCloud Drive. So you can see right here we have the iCloud Drive. Now what you will have here is stuff that you have basically downloaded from Safari. So you can see right here we have a button where we can delete all the files but you maybe don't want to do that. You will have here everything that you have saved on your drive. You will have your downloads right here which probably most of the space will be taken by downloads. You will have then of course your documents here it will show you everything that you have saved on your iCloud drive that is taking up space on your iCloud. Of course, you can delete any of them directly from here. You can choose to just like swipe like this and you're good to go. Now, one thing I would suggest you do here is that if you have been saving your files that you download from Safari to your iCloud drive, maybe change that to locally so you can just save them on your iPhone and not on the drive. Now to do that, just head on to Safari settings. And once you're here under the Safari settings, you will have here a section where it says downloads. You go there. In this case, you just switch to my iPhone and it they will be actually saved locally on your iPhone and not take a ton of space on your iCloud drive. The next thing that will take a ton of space on your iPhone are of course backups. Now here we have a few things we have to talk about backups. 
first of all if you want to back up your device make sure that you choose which apps you want to back up you maybe don't want to back up data from all the apps that you have on your iphone which probably will just take a ton of space unnecessary create a huge backup file so what you want to do is actually choose the files from which app you want to back up so when you go to back up your iphone you will have a list of your apps like this you can just go ahead and turn off the apps that you don't want to back up their data to your icloud drive now i would suggest that you actually do back up your iphone maybe to a computer that's probably better because backups are quite large in size and will take a ton of space on your iCloud even if you're paying like extra amount of storage on your iCloud they do, that will be taken up pretty fast if you're just backing up your device and all the data that you have to your iCloud so just in case you don't have maybe a computer you can do the backup on your iCloud otherwise I would suggest that you actually back up to your computer now when it comes to backups you probably also have all backups from your all devices saved on your iCloud and that might be taking a ton of space and you probably don't even know about so head on to your settings at your Apple ID under iCloud you will have here iCloud backups and right here we'll have all device backups here's the list of all the devices that are connected to your apple id that have been backed up to your apple id basically to your icloud and here i have an old one from the ali phone 12 pro max i don't actually need this this is old i don't have that device anymore and you can see right here it says when your device is backed up on your iCloud, you can use the backup to restore the information on a new device, but I don't need this data anymore. I can just go ahead, turn off and delete this from the iCloud account, delete permanently. And there we go. We have some more free storage on our iPhone. Now, of course you can do this, but make sure that whenever you do this, you make sure that you don't actually need that backup and the data from that backup on your iPhone back again. Now, here's the last thing that you should do, which is actually also very, very important. If you go under the manage account storage right here, again, you will see a list of a ton of apps that are actually taking up space on your iCloud. Now, here are a few of them. Of course, I download a ton of apps for reviews on my device and I have a ton of apps here that I don't need to be taking up space on my iCloud account like this one right here I'm done with this app probably a year ago and you can see right here it is taking up space on my iCloud almost 20 megabytes right there and I can just go ahead and delete the data from this app from my iCloud account we remove the data as easy as that so the first thing I show you guys was how to disable an app from actually adding data to your iCloud and now this is the way to actually remove the data after an app has already added those data to your iCloud account. So that's basically it for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and found these tips helpful and hopefully they will help you free up a ton of storage on your iCloud account. So that's basically it. Again, thank you guys for watching the video. If you found it helpful, leave a like and of course subscribe for more videos like this and I will see you on the next one.